What's up, y'all? It's Techie Chris here, back with another video. And um, today I'm going to be talking about my home lab. For y'all who don't already know me, my name is Chris. I also go by the name Mbame. Um, so today I'm going to be talking about my home lab. So, um, home lab is something I've been trying to get started with for quite some time. I actually have started with it, um, which I'm going to show you guys later in the video. But today I just got a couple packages, um, which I'm not exactly sure what they are. I think it's a switch in a router but I'm not sure but um yeah so I'm getting started with my home lab it's very small right now I'm gonna show you guys what I have later in the video but um this video is really just to talk about my where I'm this video is really just to talk about CCNA home labs um there's not a lot of content out there for actually getting started with your um with your home lab um it's really you you don't really they don't, the videos tell you about like the equipment and stuff that you may need, but they don't really tell you about. They don't tell you how to actually configure your home lab, which is something which I guess is good to learn on your own and you know go through the struggles. That's also kind of why it's a home lab. You got to struggle, but so I started my home lab. Um, I have a Cisco forty four thirty one series router. And I have it connected to some like Wi-Fi access points from Walmart. I think like the Deco wireless from Walmart or something like that. So um, it's not very intuitive right now. I'm trying to add more to it, but I just got a package and I'm gonna show you guys what I got in my package. I'm not exactly sure what it is just yet, but y'all are gonna find out with me. So um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let me start off by showing you what my home lab consists of right now. So, right now I don't really have much going on, but as you guys can see, as you guys can see, I have this 4431 series enterprise router from Cisco right here. Um, I have NAT and everything enabled on it. It's pretty loud. Um, I have a I think it's TCP, TC, I'm not even sure, but I have this access point hooked up right here. For, so I have this access point from my router to, I have this connection from the router to the access point. Oh, yeah, I have this router hooked up to my TCP link access point right here. Um, I have three connections, three different subnets. This is my access point subnet right here in the Gigabit 01. I have an access point, not access point, this is my WAN connection right here in the Gigabit 00. And then this is, this is just another connection. It's like a gaming data subnet. But I have these three subnets right here. And then I have this meshed to another access point inside my room. I run a really long cable, as you can see. I live in an apartment, so I run this cable. I didn't show you this, but I also have, this is where I get my WAN connection from this box right here. Where my complex provides this internet and I get my WAN connection right here. Um, this is my roommate's router. He has his own personal router. They don't interfere with one another. They don't mesh, there's no interference, but yeah. And this is what I just got from Cisco. I'm gonna unbox this in just a moment. Now we're back in my room. My setup, um, I have my other TCP link, TCP link access point. I have, you can use it as a router, but I have it being used as an access point right now. So my other TCP link access point is right here. And yeah, I have my, this is kind of my network right now. So I'm looking to expand it. So let's look at what I have inside of my box. So unfortunately, this whole section of my video, the audio somehow cut out. Don't know why, don't know how, but um, as you can see, I'll just do a little bit of an, I'll just do an overview, uh, a voice overview. So in my hand, I have a router. This is the first thing that came in the box. I had a router. Um, I believe this is a ISR 1100 series router. Um, which I'm probably gonna run some OSPF connections on it. Just you know, do the regular. Just have some connections and you know, just work on some CCNA aspects. Um, then this thing that I ended up 
getting was just a bunch of ethernet cables nothing really special just a bunch of ethernet cables um and i'm kind of bummed out that my video <laughs> that my video had no audio but um yeah i just had a couple things inside of my box um i had a switch in there i thought it was just one switch but then i looked deeper inside of it and i noticed that it was actually two switches so as you can see in this clip right here um i have two switches from cisco which are both 33 oh where are these switches these are 3650s enterprise switches so um came with a bunch of stacking cables as well and had some obviously some power cables to connect those things up but yeah that's kind of what i had um come inside of my box I have the isr router two 3650s um had a whole bunch of ethernet cables had some stacking cables but um that was pretty much it that came inside the box you know nothing really crazy nothing really extravagant um really excited to see what my home lab is going to consist of and what i can do with the home lab but yeah so sorry that my audio cut out for this part but yeah now back to my video um don't mind my mess <laughs> about my audio cutting out but you know things happen and it's okay um i like that i was able to show you guys my current setup so you guys are going to be able to see where i go from and how i grow with this home lab um, yeah so just to recap um like i said i had uh, an 1100 isr 1100 series two catalyst 3650 switches um i got a whole bunch of ethernet cables so i'm really really excited to expand my home lab and you know just see where it goes from here you know my home lab right now is not really the best home lab but i think two switches a new router so i can run some osps between those things i mean i think this is more than enough right now so i'm very grateful very excited that i was able to get this equipment so that's really it for this video i really do appreciate y'all watching and thank you for staying to the end if you're interested in more networking ccna content definitely give me a like follow and subscribe um i do appreciate y'all for watching and i'm out